Sakurai is the only game developer I know that gets away with so much, there is just so much that Smash Brothers fans allow him to get away with that it is so insufferable. So in the latest Famitsu column, Sakurai says he works with an IV drip now, and the mass amounts of Sakurai defenders say all their cliché comments like how he should take a 1000 year break. Definitely, take a 1000 year break, so we wouldn't have to put up more with your nonsense. If Sakurai is so malnourished, why does he continue to work? Let's steer over to the Overwatch League for a moment. Out of this writing, LA Gladiators tank player Bishu is currently sidelined with ulcerative colitis, an inflammatory bowel disease that causes ulcers in the digestive tract. Right now, he can't play. It would be unwise to start him because he would be playing while in pain, disoriented, not at 100%. We know that he is in pain, because for the past three weeks, he has yet to play. His substitute who is healthy is playing for him. He's not trying to play through his pain because that would be unwise Sakurai. The only way that we can tell that Sakurai is in pain is by him telling us. Now of course, Sakurai's work isn't on display for the world to see, and these game studios are behind closed doors. Still, if you are in pain and you can't work your best, you rest. You have somebody who is qualified filling in for you. Sakurai is known for having a large ego. He has an inflated viewpoint of his own importance. He uses his platform to write anything and his fans will believe him no matter how bizarre the circumstances. This is his third health story about how he's nearly died or how his health declined. The first time he passed out, the second time his arm got numb, and the third time now, he had to be hooked up to an IV drip bag while he worked. Sorry, but I don't buy it. Knowing Sakurai, he is constantly dishonest with his fans about every project he does. He lied about Fire Emblem's success, he lied about Ridley being too big, he lied about Bayonetta, he's lying about the Belmonts, he lied about why there was no story mode in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, and this isn't the last time he's going to lie. Why he would lie about his health could be for a combination of reasons, the first being to manipulate pesky fans into giving him sympathy. Every time that fans have a problem with a decision he makes, his textbook response is, I work too hard. Wait until he has to work on a game like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Breath of the Wild. The second would be to stroke his own ego. In his mind, he's the most important person in the world. He constantly craves the need to do or say whatever and somehow, that is supposed to give him the utmost praise and respect. It's easy to write a column in a magazine about whatever story you make up, and them fans just automatically give you the rockstar treatment, even if it isn't true. People have told me, well death from overworking is common in Japan. Well how often has this happened at Nintendo? Did Nintendo have to deal with an employee dying as they were in the middle of developing a Super Mario game? Nintendo is a global company. They cannot afford to have somebody die in one of their studios. Their reputation would be forever tainted and they would likely have to cancel the game. It doesn't matter if you are God King Sakurai or an intern. If stories got out that Sakurai is gravely unhealthy, Nintendo would have intervened, we would have heard about it and Sakurai would be having his long-awaited breaks. We wouldn't be hearing about it from Sakurai's narcissistic from Mitsu columns. That is why it is hard for me to believe him. If some people find this tasteless, tough shit, dislike the video if you want, I love getting dislikes. It shows that I angered people. I'm not here to pander to mobs, I'm here to speak my mind. I'm not going to apologize for having an opinion.